Welcome to Eyes in Overtime here. What a fun show today was. Uh, Jeffrey Wright came What's here. Amazing. What a and we could we didn't even hit on uh, we uh, Casino Royale. Royale. I didn't even touch on Boardwalk Empire. We could have done a whole show with I him. I know that was great with him. His Ali stories were terrific. Uh go check that out on our app today. Mike McCagnan of the Jets. You know, I, I've had some things to say about the Jets here. <laughs> sure. And he's either not heard them. Um, <laughs> or, or, or just you know understands what it takes to to be there as a general manager in New York. He was he was just chatty was up delight, about yeah. about about talking. A, that was some in the weeds general managing. Right, like it was a nice five. The... Check it out right here on the app again. Uh, there's a, literally like a five minute chunk where I said to him, you know, with all of these top prospects available in this year's draft, right. and you needing a quarterback. Just paraphrasing now. It's not the exact question. Why go for Kirk Cousins, right. especially knowing that you not getting him would raise the price with the guy that you're talking to to move up from six to three? And he walked me through it. The whole, you know, idea of a two pronged approach. I think they should have just again forget Kirk Cousins, go and right. go to Chris Ballard during the combine when it would be even cheaper to go from six to three and just go get it. Don't even get. Kirk I mean, Cousins. I guess it doesn't matter now. You got the guy you wanted all along, so. Which I believe it. I asked him point blank, "Would you gone for Baker Mayfield or Rosen?" And I knew he would deflect, which he did. Uh, great. It was a great conversation with really him. Johnny Damon was here talking uh, baseball and dancing, and then Josh Rosen himself. If you missed uh, his response <laughs> to Alonzo Highsmith of the Browns front office. So great telling the story of running into the UCLA volleyball team in an airport and him asking what type of kid is Josh Rosen and the coach saying, well, why don't you ask his girlfriend who's right over here and him saying that he didn't do that and that he just didn't like Rosen and that was part of the reason why he didn't. If you're Alonzo Rosen's Heisman, response is great. Why are you you're telling that story? Well, I, th I think he was in a, a, a conversation at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton and right. maybe sometimes when people think it's just a local conversation that it won't go anywhere or out there. Like but he today. shouldn't be saying anything denigrating about right. any prospects yeah. at all. We got or, the guy that we wanted. But it's just kind it. of showing his own kind of cluelessness about how to run a team. I don't know what to tell you. All I know is that uh, everybody that I've spoken to who knows him loves the guy. Yeah. You know. Well, but at any rate... Rosen was terrific here on the show. And then Rosen's another the another video I want to call your attention to right here on the app is a uh, brilliant uh, construct. Uh, Ken Tulo uh, produced, Mike Hoskins edited uh, at the Los Angeles Broadcasting Center. Mike Del Tufo, subject of the soul and science. John Brinkus of Sports Science just nailed it. It was fantastic. Brinkus, Mike Del Tufo, yeah. the subject of the sports science, <laughs> is really <laughs> tremendous. It it's is great. fantastic. Really it tremendous. Is such a good really job good. On that. Now I... the the gag of the number of dead minutes. Oh. Oh. Seventy eight. I got them all. I already remember. Or was it ago. hours? Were dead yeah. hours? Seventy eight minutes. Seventy eight minutes of dead of dead time like, over the span of a year. Do you think? Do you think that's an accurate number? I do, kind of. Dead air. Seventy eight no, minutes is a long well, just time. Think, how many dead seconds a show is there because of Mike? Probably like four or five, maybe. So that adds up. And that's up. Each hour? So it would be four seconds each hour. Yeah, maybe like four. So we're looking at like 12, 12 to 15 seconds, seconds. seconds. He's a whole show. show. So it's a minute a week. So that's and we've been on a minute the air. a week. And we've a been on. There been you a, go. Oh, God. It's and actually. By the way, 78 take, might be low. Take the over. <laughs> yeah, 78 might be on the low end. Take the over. Speed of the hands. Look at your face. <laughs> That's a day I was sick. You were sick. Was you were sick staring into space. You were sick. I had like 101 temperature. I love how they use that face. one. You were, yeah, you were sick. I remember. I was sick that you day. You were just like blinking and staring like, into space. I was like space. bad 78 shit. might be low. That's all it's all the fastest saying. speed of the Cobra. I mean, and, that's, and, a, that's and I, a fact. I do, <laughs> I do also want to say this here, here to, the, uh, to our, our loyal fan base yeah. that I know is going to be watching this because anything that stars Mike Del Tufo gets the, through the roof on our app. Seriously. Uh, we are losing a valued member of the Rich Eisen Show staff here today. Her name is Lauren Parker of our booking staff. Cannot believe she's leaving us because we love her. She's the she's, Johnny Damon of she, this show. Well, I'm, but that she's leaving? <laughs> yeah. Damon of and that, where, where you don't understand the reason why but she's leaving? I don't leaving? get it, yeah. <laughs> she didn't get voted off. I was just bringing full circle. Oh, uh, I see. But, uh, man, what she has done uh, to help 
launched the show and just her uh, personality and everything about Lauren Parker will be missed. She's going to the world of e-gaming, so good luck with that. With all those youngsters that she will be trying to corral as talent, <laughs> it's a next level type of stuff, and so um, we'll miss her. Miss you, Lauren. There you are. Come on, good let's boy. get you out there. Aww. Come on now. Come on, let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. Del Tufo, you can be done. You can hug it out with Mike Del Tufo. Come but please do not, please do not go to Brockman. Do you have the video of, of Lauren Parker and Brockman no. in Washington, yeah. D.C.? No, no. Can we have that? Just this be careful, as Lauren Parker's no. going to be called like up. Hold on ever. a second. This is the greatest. No, we're installing. I know it's coming. No, I know. It's, it's one of those things where they didn't expect it to be coming. This was. But we're going to miss you, Lauren. Lauren Parker, we're going to miss you greatly. I don't need to see it. And I know your Good parents job. will be Good missing. Job. Here we go. There it is. Oh, God. This is, look. No. It all went uphill from there. <laughs> I was in a lot of pain. That hurt. You wiped me out. <laughs> Brockman, you could have literally broken your back when you did that. Why and you could have killed more. No, what do you mean? And you could have killed more. I saved you. I saved you. I was trying to help you. Well, I think it's your fault that I, that happened. I, I definitely <laughs> not. We I saw it, it all coming. Fault. I definitely think right. that was your Lauren, fault. Lauren, we'll miss you. God, Fantastic. That was so She'll painful. be Lauren, you'll be safer where you're going. Yes. It's essential. <laughs> yes. There's no hoverboard. There's no hoverboard. <laughs> uh, around 14 year old gamers, she'll be safer. God. Oh my gosh. Probably true. I know. Probably I know. true. Probably okay. True. I'm gonna get all verklempt. I don't even know who the hell's on tomorrow's show. Well, we don't have anybody right now. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna be here. To play the us three, out. The three of us. To play us out. Sting, that's tomorrow. The three of us will be that's here. That's it for today. We'll yes. see you Thursday. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience.